hello viewers in this video you are going to learn how to create a table for trigonometric ratios here i am going to create a table of values of trigonometric ratios a sine cos tan and their reciprocals in this video i am going to share some special tricks to create a table of values of these trigonometric ratios of angles 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree First, we create a table like this. Here, sine, cos, tan, and their reciprocals are written in the first column, and in the upper row, we have written the angles in degrees and radians. We know pi radians is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 30 degree is equal to pi by 6 radian, 45 degree is equal to pi by 4 radian, 60 degree is equal to pi by 3 radian, and 90 degree is equal to pi by 2 radian. First, we write down numbers from 0 to 4 in order like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Now we divide all this number by four. Zero by four, one by four, two by four, three by four, and four by four. Now we simplify this zero, one by four, half, three by four, and one. Hmm. Now we will take square root of all this number. So square root of 0 will be 0, square root of 1 by 4 is a half, and square root of half is 1 by root 2, square root of 3 by 4 is root 3 by 2, and square root of 1 is 1. These are values for sine theta, where theta is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree respectively. So first 0, 0 is the value of a sine 0 degree. Half is the value of sine 30 degree. 1 by root 2 is the value of sine 45 degree. Root 3 by 2 is the value of sine 60 degree. And 1 is the value of sine 90 degree. If you write these numbers in a reverse way, then we will get values of cos 0 degree to 90 degree. So, value of cos 0 degree is equal to sine 90 degree. And value of cos 30 degree is equal to sine 60 degree. Value of sine 45 degree is equal to cos 45 degree. So, cos 45 degree will be equal to 1 by root 2. Value of cos 60 degree is equal to sine 30 degree, therefore sine 60 will be half. And value of cos 90 degree is equal to value of sine 0 degree, therefore cos 90 degree will be equal to 0. Again, we know tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta. Therefore, tan 0 degree is equal to sin 0 degree by cos 0. Therefore, tan 0 degree is equal to 0 by 1, that is 0. Tan 30 degree is equal to 2, half over root 3 by 2, which is equal to 1 by root 3. Tan 45 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 over 1 by root 2. Therefore, it is equal to 1. Tan 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 over half, that is root 3 by 1, that is root 3. Again, 10 90 degree is equal to 1 by 0, which is not defined. So we write this by this symbol. Again, cosec theta is a reciprocal of sine theta. Therefore, cosec 0 degree is equal to reciprocal of 0, which is not defined. 
so cosec 30 degree is equal to reciprocal of half so it is 2 cosec 45 degree is reciprocal of 1 by root 2 so it will be root 2 cosec 60 degree is reciprocal of root 3 by 2 so it is 2 by root 3 and cosec 90 degree is reciprocal of 1 which is equal to 1 again sec theta is a reciprocal of cos theta so sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta therefore sec 0 degree is equal to reciprocal of 1 so it is 1 sec 30 degree is equal to reciprocal of root 3 by 2 so it is 2 by root 3 sec 45 is a reciprocal of 1 by root 2 therefore it is root 2 sec 60 degree is a reciprocal of half so it is 2 and sec 90 degree is reciprocal of 0 so it is not defined again cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta therefore cot 0 degree is equal to 1 by 0 1 by 0 so it is not defined and cot 30 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 over half so it is root 3 by 1 that is root 3 cot 45 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 over 1 by root 2 so it is 1 cot 60 degree is equal to half over root 3 by 2 that is 1 by root 3 and cot 90 degree is equal to 0 by 1 so it is 0 thank you for watching